Okay, welcome to part two of today's episode. Um, what we're going to do now is transfer one of our peppers which have been growing very nicely in our double cups here um, since since March uh, into our newly created uh, Kratky pots. So the first thing we have to do is rinse all this soil off and uh, get it into our net cup. So I'm just going to take this out. Get most of the soil off. So I'm just going to take the majority of this off, like this, and then I'm just going to gently um, soak this root ball in a um, bucket of water here. So this should allow most of this soil to come off, so. At least this uh, water has been sitting on the deck, it's nice and warm. And it allows me to get all of the soil out very nicely, as you can see here. Okay. Now, as you know, I started a large number of my off in peat pots. Uh, I'm not too worried about this uh, being in the net pot because it's never going to actually be touching my uh, nutrient in an earth solution that's inside the buckets. So now that we've got these roots nicely uh, cleaned off, let's get this into a net pot. Okay. Now the net pots, when they come, uh, you can see that the, the mesh is really quite dense here. And because I'm not starting these plants off in these, uh, it's going to be a little difficult trying to get the roots through here. So I'm going to cut some slots in here, which will be uh, large enough for me to feed most of those roots through into here, but still be uh, small enough that it'll hold my hydrogen and keep it from uh, falling through into the nutrients. So let's just, let's just do that. Okay, so here's what I've done. I've just taken a large section of the center out. That's what I'm going to feed all of my roots through. The bottom of that peat pot will nicely, and the roots will nicely keep the uh, hydrogen from uh, falling out as well. So there you go. All the roots nicely through there. So now let's just uh, put a little bit of hydrogen around this. And there you have it. So now this pot is ready to go into our container. So, okay, so the thing that I have to do next is add the nutrient to the water that I'm going to be doing now. Um, I know a lot of people use uh, Master Blend. I can't get that here in Canada and I uh, don't have anything that I've been able to find um, similar here. So, I'm going to right now be using a um, Hi, General Hydroponics Maxi Grow, which is a powder. Um, it, uh, according to what I'm going to be doing, you, as a growth stage, I just want to get some more growth out of these before we bloom. Um, I need to put three quarters of a teaspoon per gallon. Now I'm going to be uh, putting two gallons of water into this bucket, um, which. Uh, will just be enough level in there so that it's giving me about this much space below the bottom of my net cup. So you do want to have an air space between that. So we'll just mix that in and uh, drop our plant in. So we'll put one and a half tablespoons into here. And we'll give that a good stir. So as you can see, it's uh, it's all nicely mixed. It's equilibrated. And um, you can see the nice green color of this. Um, now it's ready for our plant. Now, I'm um, 
going to be following Matt Garver's uh, method of doing this. He hasn't been pHing his water. His, he actually has well water the same as I do and he's found that it hasn't really made much of a difference. So um, I'm not going to do that. I mean, I'd like to keep this as simple as I can. Just uh, straight uh, water out of the well, add some nutrients and we'll see how these peppers do. So let's get our plant on here. And there you have it. One non-circulating Kratky pot with uh, one of this year's peppers. So thanks again for uh, watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see how these peppers do throughout the summer. Thanks again.